all, Luke. It was like a nightmare. What kind of a cruel joke were you playing on me? This was no joke. Oh, no, what, what would you call it then? I don't care where you were, you could have picked up a phone. It's not that easy, don't you understand? You can't just pick up a phone, it doesn't happen that way. You put the people you love through a horrible experience. It was cruel not to call. Simple as that. No, it is not as simple as that, don't you understand? I was told. I was told by doctors that I would probably not walk again. Paralyzed! Do you have any idea what paralyzed means, baby? I don't think you do. And that's why I didn't tell you, because it would be a burden to you. I didn't want to burden you with that. Is that the kind of faith that you had in our love? That you thought I would rather have you dead than handicapped? Handicapped? English, I was a mess. I was a mess. I couldn't dress myself. My God, going to the bathroom was a half-day ordeal. You couldn't handle that. So that's it. You didn't think I could handle it. I knew you couldn't. I know you couldn't. Oh, you're so sure. You always were. You never had any faith in me. Wait, that's not true. That's oh, not true. isn't it? You just said it was. Because of my past. I know that. You never could forget about that. That's why you went up onto the mountain. No. You never really trusted me. No. Well, what other possible reason could it be? What do you want from me? Holly, I was scared. I was paralyzed. Don't you understand? I'd probably be dead now if it weren't for a couple of good friends of mine up on that mountain. Great. So you cured yourself, and you made some new friends. Well, that's lovely. What about your old friends? What about your family? What about me, the woman who loved you? You got hurt, and you turned to strangers. And we sat here, and we mourned you. Well, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair at all. All right! <laughs>